I had that fear of failing, and it was it was so strong that like it was being like it was detrimental. It was it was causing so many issues. You need to you need to sort yourself out. You, you know you're not scared. Doesn't matter okay. if you fail. If you fail, you go you go on again. It's going to happen eventually. Just there's no rush. That you never regret going through a rubbish period and coming out stronger. Think about how much more exciting that is, knowing that in just a two to three year period, you've literally got sustainable income for life. You'll be in a position where you could generally, if you really wanted to, retire and just be very casual. Not that you would, but at least you have the choice and you're in the position to do that. So yeah, absolutely bang on Tom, seriously. That's a great mindset to be in. I worked out passing the Falcon Fund this year and also with the external funding and investing into my personal account. By the end of next year, I think the account would be at something like 1.5 to 2 mil, like overall mm -hmm. under management. And when you think 50% in a year, when like, for example, yourself, obviously with much more experience, hit like almost 60% last quarter. And then you go in, like you say, for a 19 year old, you're going from this year working a job to by the end of next year, potentially just on 50% for the year, being like trading 2 mil under, under management. That is when obviously you should have FOMO. Like obviously it'd be absolutely smash that score, Abdu. So once you've actually got the skill, like obviously it is the time to have FOMO because 50% in a year is not like ridiculous. And overall you can be trading like two mil plus. FOMO should give people urgency, that's the word. And if you don't have urgency, honestly, I, I, I feel for people that have no urgency right now. Let's build some wealth together as a community. Let's help each other and let's move forward because I think that is the, the most beautiful way that you can see people win. Oh, I was sick. The um, speaking to Tom and Tom and Mike, it was, it's just like a breath of fresh air, right? When you're speaking to students that are switched on, they're committed to making it happen. They want to make it happen. I think that for me is a uh, is huge. So I love it when we start talking about the nitty gritty numbers. Like, what is it actually going to take? What's it going to take for you to get to a level where you want to be? What is the number that buys your freedom, right? What puts you in a position to go full time? Those type of conversation I absolutely love. So it's important to me that I check in with the guys, make sure they've got everything they need. It's part of being part of being a role model, part of being a mentor, you know? It's not just about, oh, here's this strategy. It's much bigger than that. I wanna make sure these guys and girls feel like they've got someone that actually gives a shit, someone that cares about them. Now, I care about their growth. I care about whether they succeed. It's as simple as that. I will make sure that I put my absolute everything into this. Myself, Abdu, Ibi, the team, we're putting our everything into this because we want to see them get to the next level because we know what it feels like once they're there. So it's exciting. It's really, really exciting. But I'm going to wind down now for the evening, head over to the pool house. Five minutes to go until the break. Liverpool. Liverpool and Hills. Uh, Crystal Palace is just like, um, uh, it's basically just like a, a friendly. Got a good old Milner on there. Who's, um, his fitness levels are insane. I think he's like 36 years old now, or 37. Oh no, we're not playing until tomorrow. It's an old game. Yeah, so it's been, a, it's been a really, really productive day. So I've got loads of things done, of course. We've got, um, got, FX, got FX Live in the morning. So we'll jump on at nine, we'll go over the plan. There's a few things I want to add into this recession workshop that needs to be in place so everyone understands it. They know how to be ready because this is what it's going to be. The next two to three years is going to be absolutely crucial. Once everyone knows and they've scaled up their accounts, we need to make sure that it's absolutely crystal clear. They know how they're going to do it, why they're going to do it. And these are the options because the shift is coming seriously. So that workshop's going to be exciting. Let's announce the date as well. So everyone's clear on that one, everyone prepared, focused, so they can block off the time to make it happen as well. So we'll jump on tomorrow, we'll plan that out, and then we will announce it to the community. It's all looking good. It's all looking really good. Of course, I'm excited for the meetup as well, which is like weeks away now. So it's going to be really cool. So we've got quite a few things lined up there. And it's very, very important that we make sure everyone is focused and dialed in for the rest of the year. A nice looking journal you got there, Mark. It is indeed. Uh, this journal, actually, so interesting about this journal. So this is a um, big shout out to the man Abdu. So Abdu hooked me up with a, uh, a surprise gift. I'll, I'll show you the pen in a second as well, but this journal is absolutely beautiful. So it's the Egyptian one, knows the way to my heart. So I'll show you the pen, take a look at this. So this is honestly so beautiful. I've never seen this, so it's a limited edition one. So we'll, we'll have a look at this one up close, but 
it's basically got like the hieroglyphics etc on the side of the pen so it's a limited edition beautiful so i have to improve my handwriting now so i can uh, benefit from this but honestly this is uh this is stunning i didn't expect this and then it came the other day and honestly it's uh i didn't even know this existed and i thought i was switched on so he knows something i don't but this is just a beautiful added to the collection and you know when you when you use like a pen that you're that you that you respect you use a pen that you take pride in i just can't explain it because a lot of people will be sitting there thinking oh i couldn't justify that i couldn't put money on a pen and they just think that they're going to write with a biro the reality is when you put pen to paper and you have like a journal that you're proud of something that you take care in the things that you write you tend to take it more seriously and i know this works because it's rubbed off on thousands of people and they now do that so for anyone looking from the outside thinking but what difference does that make? I'm not saying getting the pen and the journal is going to make you successful directly, but it's the, the thought process of, right, the things I'm writing down, it's not on a scrap bit of paper. Like, take your life seriously, you know? So this is uh, one avenue to that. So this is a beautiful added to my collection. So big shout out to Abdu for that. Speaking about like writing and things like that, right? So the conversation we just had with Mike and Tom, which was sick. I've been speaking to so many funded traces recently. We've got the meetup that's coming up on friday the 5th of august which is not far away at all we're going to be interviewing a lot of students there people are just leveling up they're just getting on with it it's the mindset this energy that we have in the community it's like something i can't explain and people that have played the long game they're now making it happen so what do you think they all have in common they know their numbers right so for any of you out there right now you aspire to be a successful trader you want to go full time my question is, and if I ask someone, I say, what's your numbers then? So how much does it cost to buy your freedom? What is that number? They don't know. They don't know the number. So then you might be thinking, why, why, do, I need to know to, why do I need to know the number? Well, you'll just fantasize. Are you really serious? Like, how could you have the audacity to yourself? Not to me, it doesn't matter to me. How can you have the audacity to yourself to say you're serious about trading, yet... You don't have a plan, you're not structured, you don't know what the numbers are, so you don't know. So you're just in la-la land, which is what leads people to getting disheartened when things don't go well, the back test for a little bit, learn a little bit of the strategy, then when things don't go right, they then try a different trading system, then they realize there's mental challenges after the honeymoon period, it happens again, and they still don't know. So the key point here is that if you're really serious about this game, Guys and girls, you have to do the numbers. Just get a pen and paper and write it down. It's as simple as that, and I promise you, you'll go so much further. So make it happen. It's unacceptable for you to not know the numbers. Tom, yeah. what, what about yourself? Golden number, hit us with it. When are you going full time? We need the date. <laughs> yeah, so for me, um, I think for the Falcon Fund, it's, it's around 3%. So mm -hmm. obviously, like that's not far away at all. And then obviously, mm -hmm. like, for the trading days after that. Um, mm -hmm. so literally, I've already got the six month buffer in place obviously mm -hmm. for my job mm -hmm. um and once i pass the falcon fund which obviously will be this quarter like mm -hmm. i'll literally be going full time straight away more so because obviously like the falcon fund with my external capital that that'll be plus six figures mm -hmm. um and then obviously i have the buffer where like i'm kind of with falcon at the same time so whereas like technically from a numbers perspective i, I could go full time now it's just like once i've once i've passed falcon obviously i'm then scaling up like exponentially mm -hmm. um and then obviously, so yeah, literally as soon as I pass the Falcon Fund, which will be like the 3% and the trading days, um, I'll be going full time. And then obviously like by the end of the year, like my, my major goal is to have like um, at, at least quarter mil like across the mm -hmm. both accounts, um, pounds that is. Mm -hmm. um, which like you say, with Falcon, I think for myself, once I pass the assessment, I think it's 20% until six figures. Yep. When you just put that in perspective, that's obviously just on the Falcon account alone. Like that, that's just crazy. Um, so yeah, literally as soon as I pass the assessment, it'll be full time. And by the end of the year, I'm looking to have um, like a quarter mil under management overall. That's solid. That's a really solid. You realize how close that is? Mm. It's so close. So literally by the end of Q3, you can be walking straight into that position. How, mm. do, how does that feel like for you, even just visualizing that moment of day one of Q4, you're now full time, you got these accounts, and you're moving forward towards the end of the year. And, and how old are you, Tom? Just for people that don't know. Yeah, 19. Yeah, I'm 19. Um, I've seen jo joined Falcon when I was 18. And yeah, like literally, it's just completely changed my life. I know everyone says that, but like it couldn't be more true. I mean, so from the start of Q2, I actually dropped two days at work um, off the back of like your advice of doing a day in the life. Mm -hmm. So a Thursday and Friday for like the past three months, I've been doing a day in the life. Um, obviously, like the only difference is like the capital isn't there to back it up yet and obviously it's not it's not always about like making thousands on a trade but i just can't wait for that first day going full time 
um to like make that couple grand in a trade and it's like mm-hmm. that was a quarter's income at work or, or even a year's income and obviously and beyond mm-hmm. um, so yeah like the actual feeling of going full time luckily i've already experienced that like on the thursdays and fridays i look more forward to the end of the week to like put more work in if that makes sense so i'm actually looking forward more so to going full time to like be able to go even harder and progress mm-hmm. even more i almost feel like the monday to wednesday it's like capping my potential. Um, yeah, I love that. I love that. Seriously, yeah. you know what's interesting about what both both you done because Mike done this as well, right? Mike, you dropped today, didn't you? Not that long ago. Yeah, yeah. So Wednesday is actually today. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it, well, perfect, right? So how does yeah. that feel? Quickly touching on that, uh, the same sort of time, like that you're almost living and making it real for yourself. I'm sure once you have your Wednesday and you're back to Thursday, mm. you kind of like attach on to that day of freedom again. Yeah, I mean that's exactly it. It's, it's that word. It's freedom. You know, I I, I I can do whatever I want <laughs> with my yeah. day. Obviously, obviously that you know, the, the money isn't there for me to you know travel and do crazy stuff. But um, it's just you know, I, I don't have to go to work. That, 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 that's it. It's like I, I can do whatever I want whenever whenever I want throughout this day. And you know, you linger for that next day and that next day, and you kind of wait for that next next that next Wednesday sort of thing mm-hmm. because you know, like you just want to get a taste of that freedom again. And uh, but like Tom said, like you you, you just Oh, I mean, I spend most of my Wednesdays doing majority of my work for the week because mm-hmm. it's all the free time I get. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, once you get the you know the Monday, the Tuesday, the Thursday, the Friday come in, it's just going to be completely. It's going to be insane. It's going to be completely different. Honestly, yeah. I, I, I can't wait for you to both experience that at just the the full level. Like, you wake up and you just know that you have freedom. That is the word. Yeah. I think why most traders are failing right now is not necessarily their system right there are are good ways to trade there are lots of unsustainable ways to trade there's riskier ways to trade right however there are other ways to trade however when you don't do the numbers and you fantasize that's all you do and because i'm business headed and that's just like where my base level is that it's always business entrepreneur it's why I, i love being involved in different projects and things like that it's always been very black and white to me to just look at that. What was the number like? For example, when I quit, you know, I'd done it on much smaller capital and I still found the way to make happen because there was so much urgency to just, just get it done. Right. So we're doing this at much more comfortable level for both of you going full time. You will sustain it because I know Abdu knows, Ibi knows the whole team at Falcon knows that everything that you have been trained to do. If you look at it like that, we know you have everything and you have the ongoing support. So it's not going wrong. The only way that can happen is if you intentionally mess it up. Yeah. And I literally see it like that because you have everything that you need to do, even if it's live sessions, You've got that for accountability, just check in, you know, every Tuesday, every Thursday, it's like, it's there for you to consistently progress and move forward. And I'll tell you what, it will inspire so many other people in the community that are being a bit too casual because as we were speaking before tom as you said it can be quite intimidating right when you've got everything you know you think is a positive right absolutely everything you need to succeed and then the part of your mind that maybe isn't there yet goes well am i actually going to do this i'm actually going to quit my job and not not have to have anyone pay me anymore am i actually going to do it? am i going to tell my mom and dad that no i don't work anymore you know all those thoughts start to come in you're like oh that's a bit of an interesting thought how about i go and self-sabotage which is what most <laughs> traders are doing right but that's why you need the the good circle the level-headed the know-how this is how it's done these emotions are normal we go together which is why i'm never a big fan of going alone because you have all these thoughts that you don't know how to deal with no experience how do you overcome them who are you going to mm-hmm. talk to no one and just expect you to figure out how costly is that to then mess it all up when you're in a really good position so i'm buzzing for you both seriously Honestly, the best feeling in the world will be when they experience it for the first time, right? So when they're, when they're going full time for the first time, they have all the emotions, all of the, the fear, the doubt that creeps in, but it's, it's just about making sure they've got the support for that because it's not easy to do that. There's so many emotional problems that can arise, right? It takes a lot of character, a lot of confidence. Uh, self-esteem to be in a position to be able to make that happen and it's important to me it's absolutely a priority to make sure that I'm giving that support the way that we're going to be able to affect things that are not even trading related we've got so many things in store for that that's what's exciting for me to take someone who thinks that their life is just going to be average and they don't have the support they don't have the mindset you have absolutely everything here and it is purely down to you do you want it bad enough and if you do we 
we're going to run towards you. It's as simple as that. We're going to give you absolutely everything that you need. So resources we have in abundance, but it's, a, it's going to be an interesting feeling. People think that it's just an upward, an upward spiral. It doesn't always work like that. There's always going to be hurdles, but no, I'm, I'm genuinely excited. It's been a very, very long day, very productive. Got loads of things done. I've got the live sessions. I think that was a, was that a hawk? Oh, on, honestly, oh, honestly, do you know what the crazy thing is? When I uh, when I moved here a few years ago, uh, you couldn't make this up. So buzzards are obviously like a type of bird, right? So like a bird of prey, and as close towards like a falcon as possible. You couldn't make this up. There's four of them living in that massive tree over there. There's the amount of trees around. It. There's four of them living in there, and then I heard them because you can hear them squawk. I'm not going to attempt it, <laughs> but you can hear them squawk, and uh, you just couldn't make it up. Like falcon and these family of buzzards that are just it's crazy anyway. But got a live session in the morning, so early for the London session. Sharp, prepared, going to get a good night's sleep, and. Um, I was going to catch up a little bit with the Liverpool game, so this is just pre-season anyway. You still have to have these these small things in place that push you. So for myself, I'm a big sports fan. I love football, right? So I love knowing that if I'm going to, let's say, watch a game in the evening and it's a 8 p.m. kickoff or 5:30 p.m. kickoff or whatever it is, or Champions League night, I will always make sure I get two days worth of things done to warrant having that. And it's it's about building that discipline of like the most simple thing of just watching a game, right? I know that in that period of time, 90 minutes or two hours with a build-up, I can just switch off. For someone else, it'd be something different. It might not be football, it might be ice skating, it might be going to the gym, it could be anything, right? But just having that something to work towards, I'm a big believer in, like, you earn it. You don't just deserve it because you're a full-time trader and now you just do anything. You still have to work towards things and have the discipline. So never lose, what, never lose sight of what got you there in the first place. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sure you'll be seeing many more of them and you enjoyed the conversations with Mike and Tom. You're gonna to be seeing more of that, trust me, over the next three to six months, how we are leveling up. It honestly it gives me so much energy when I talk about it because we're so clear and there's so much clarity as where we're going. Time to level up seriously. So enjoy your evening, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next episode.